Hello gamers! Today we are going to be looking at all 21 chess locations that are currently inside of Royal High. Now do note the fact that this video is playing at one time speed and also I'm not using a faster flight game pass at all. That way it's easier to follow for people that don't have the faster flight game pass. <laughs> If you want to change the speed of this video on PC, you can press on the settings button in the bottom right hand corner, press playback speed, and then choose between 0.25 times speed and 2 times speed. If you're on PC, you can also use a custom speed that is within that range. If you're on mobile, you can press on the three dots in the top right hand corner, press playback speed, and then you can go and change the speed of the video to whatever you would like. <laughs> So first up we have the beach house which has the darling Valentina playful puppy ears as well as the fluttering butterfly sleeves. And so to start with, first of all what we got to do is go up the stairs over here. And when I say go up the stairs I mean go all the way to like the top floor not to the middle one like I almost accidentally did there. And then you go into the pirate room. And then this first chest is just at the top of the stairs. And the reward for that chest is the Darling Valentina Playful Puppy Ears item. And so after that, what you want to do is go and leave the beach house. I found the easiest way to do that was to just go out of the door, which took me a bit of time to do. And then I just kind of jumped out. But you can always just like walk out the front door or something like that if you want to. And then after that, I went and changed my lighting since it was night time. You basically just want to go to the left until you see you're between like a blue house and a purple house, I believe it is. Yeah, you can see me checking the houses over there. So I basically just kept on walking until I saw I was in line and then I went into the sea. Yeah, it is between the blue and purple houses. And so then you basically just want to go and fly into the sea. You want to go forward a little bit. And then the chest is just like somewhere along on the left. I believe it's just behind that rock. Yeah, there it is. And then if you go and open that chest, you'll see you get the fluttering butterfly sleeves item. So next is Diamond Beach where there is only one chest which gives you 2,500 diamonds. And so for this chest you want to go and fly to the right, I accidentally flew to the left the wrong way. You want to go to the right side of the Diamond Beach area. And so there did used to be four chests here, two of them were flags, which makes sense why they were moved because they were part of the 4th of July update. There was also another chest that gave diamonds, but like I have checked there literally like five, six times, it's definitely not there anymore. But yeah, basically what you want to do is go to the right and then you go past whatever that area is called and then you go up the pathway, you'll see there's like a sort of picnic area and then you'll see there's a piano and right by the piano there is the chest with 2,500 diamonds. And so next is Sunset Island which gives you the Hawaiian Lei 250 diamonds and the tropical hair flower item. And so I'm sorry that it's a little bit laggy, there's nothing I could really do about that. Um, if you go and open the chest that is right at the start, I believe this is the one that gives the Hawaiian lei. And inside this chest you find... And yeah, it's the flower lei item. <laughs> that was right about that. Oh, I put Hawaiian lei instead of flower lei. Well, I mean... Oh well, <laughs> I can't really go and change it now, but um, if you go forward, you basically want to go over to the campsite area, and then there's a chest in there. So yeah, if you come forward a bit, and then all the chests, I mean all the tents hadn't like loaded in for me, but there is 250 diamonds. And then after that, I couldn't find the third chest, so I ended up looking around for long. So go and reset your character to take you back to the start, that way you're following along with me. And then you basically want to walk forwards over to the pageant area. And oh yeah, I forgot it was night time, so I changed my lighting and then I realised I have to change it back. But um, if you go over to the right, you go past the green screen and then you keep on going forward a bit. 
you should be able to see the sea. I mean, obviously you can see the sea, but you basically want to go into the sea. You'll see some of these rocks. You go forward a bit, and then this chest, it is so sneakily hidden. It took me so long to find this. I was looking for like a full 15 minutes. He could see me even after I found it struggling to open it. The thing is mainly because of like the color that it has now with the pink and blue, it's so hard to see. But yeah, that chest gives you the tropical hair flower item. And so next is the intergalactic trade in hub, which gives you Ice's UFO. And so you do have to be level 75 to be able to go to the trading hub. And once you're able to go there, you need to go and do the authenticating thing. I mean, you don't really do anything, you just stand there. But you basically want to go over to where the lift is, make sure you're not accidentally clicking on your avatar, and then press close and press first floor, and then that will take you down. And then after that, you want to turn around and go outside and then press on the code entering thing, making sure you're not pressing on your avatar. And then you enter area 51, press submit. And then after a few seconds, the door should open and the lasers should go away. And then you'll be able to go and get the test chest. <laughs> Obviously, I've already got this on my main account and I don't have any accounts at level 75 that I haven't gotten it on. But anyways, next is the 2022 Lunar New Year item, Tiger. And so this chest is only available during the Lunar New Year event 2022. So do note that obviously if you're watching this after February, this will already be gone. This chest will not be available to you. But you basically want to go into this archway over here and then turn right and go forward a bit and then you should see the lunar new year area and then if you go to the back of it and then you go over to the left it is very hard to see because it's like kind of camouflaged inside the leaves and also <laughs> it's dark inside the vineyard park at the moment but yeah, if you go over there, you should be able to see the chest in green. And then if you open it, you get 2022 Lunar New Year Tiger item. And then we have all the other chests in the Vineyard Park, which give 5,600 diamonds. These are available all year round, so even outside of of this event the first chest is just under the bridge it gives 250 diamonds after that you want to exit the bridge on the right and then you basically just want to keep on flying i should stop flying in a second yeah you basically just want to keep on flying that way for a while you should see yourself go past the green screen area over there and then you should see an empty field and if you go into that empty field you should see a chest in the middle of it obviously it may take like a little bit of time to load you do have to be like kind of close to be able to actually see the chest but it should pop up just like that and then if you go to it you press open you get 250 diamonds and so then after that you basically want to go and fly in the opposite direction like you're going back to the area that you started in except rather than like stopping at that sort of spawn area you want to keep on flying past that and yeah this does take quite a while to do it is a very long flying distance i definitely recommend if you're considering on buying the faster flight game pass that you buy it before you go after all these chests because doing it without the faster flight game pass on this account took so long <laughs> but yeah you basically just want to keep on flying this way and then you should eventually see that sort of like upper lake area and then at the bottom of it oh wait oh in the top layer of it you should see a chest and then that chest it gives you 500 diamonds and so after that i think i got lost here yeah i did so then i went and reset my character so make sure you go and do that as well that way you're following where i'm going and so then what you want to do is you want to go and fly over to the right kind of like you're going to that other chest location that i showed except you want to go past that area yeah you can see me looking at where that area was we're not going there we're going past it and so then you want to keep on flying for a bit <laughs> And 
which we should see the end of that sort of like pathway and then if you keep on going if you kind of like turn slightly and then you go down i believe it's at the bottom of this waterfall where there's a chest i think i'm about to drop or just like fly down <laughs> okay that works and then over there you can see there is a chest it's kind of hard to see but yeah you should be able to get it it gives you 1000 diamonds <laughs> And so after that you want to go and fly outside of that sort of waterfall and then you want to go I believe it's like straightish yeah straight over to where there's that sort of like big tree the one that I mentioned in my secrets video that was talking about like the area inside of the tree I believe it's that same tree but rather than going into that sort of cave area inside it you want to go down to that chest which gives you 500 diamonds and then after that you want to go up to get like out of the water and then you want to go sort of like forwards right like diagonally and then if you keep on going through there you should see that bridge area and i just realized there is a bit i forgot to cut out of this video you basically just want to keep on going straight yeah i got confused for a minute i thought there was a chest there there is <laughs> i meant to cut this out oh my gosh i'm an idiot oh well um basically you just want to keep on flying straight in that direction you want to keep on following that sort of like lake area not like river area and then if you keep on going straight once you get to the end of it you go and turn right and then you should see a chest just kind of sitting at the edge of the field and that gives you 250 diamonds and so then after that you want to go and fly upwards and then you should see the bathroom stalls area just forward and then if you go forward the chest is in i believe like if it, if you go on the right it's like the second stall in yeah you can see it there and then if you go and open that it will give you 500 diamonds <laughs> So after that you want to go and exit this area and then I believe you want to go and fly in the right direction let's wait and see yeah you want to go in the right direction so kind of like you're following that sort of pathway area oh actually yeah, I'm following the pathway I don't think that was intentional but yeah basically just keep on going in that direction for a bit and then how long does this take? <laughs> there is a lot of flying involved in this. But yeah, you should see yourself go across that sort of pathway that goes across the river. You keep on going forwards through the trees and stuff. <laughs> Eventually you should see the sort of pink pathway that leads over to this area. I kind of got the bridges over here mixed up with a different one. I was thinking there was like a chest under it. There isn't. <laughs> you just want to go and fly past this. I just got this area mixed up with a different one by accident. <laughs> oh gosh. But um, basically what you want to do is over there where the tree is, it, there's a chest like at the top of that sort of like waterfall if you go along a bit. I was thinking there was one under there because I got it mixed up with a different waterfall but you basically just want to go and fly to where that tree is and then underwater you should be able to see the chest and yeah there it is and so then if you go to it and then you open it you will get 500 diamonds <laughs> And then after that you want to go and leave that area going to the right and then if you go down um okay yeah go forward a bit you should see yourself go past that sort of staircase treehousey area <laughs> that's not a good way to describe it is it but basically you want to go to the sort of cave-ish area that has like the lake in it and then you should see a chest under there which gives you 350 diamonds and then if you go straight a bit you should see this big bridge over here you go underneath that you keep on going forward and you should see another bridge that is like a bigger bridge and then under there there is another chest this is the bridge that i was thinking like the other one was 
Uh, it doesn't even look similar, but yeah, that gives you 250 diamonds. I do not know why I took so long with this chest open. <laughs> Uh, maybe I should cut that out. Oh, it's, it's not that long, it's fine. Uh, but yeah, after that, basically just want to go and leave that area. And then if you keep on flying straight. I actually went in the opposite of direction of the direction I actually wanted to go in. But if you go this way, there is like a chest here. So you basically go flying past these trees. And then you keep on going straight. You go for quite a while because basically this next chest i believe it's the chest in like the house it's like at the top floor of the house and that's like all the way at the edge of the map so if you have the faster flight game pass now is definitely a good time to be using it <laughs> so yeah, you basically just want to keep on flying straight <laughs> Okay, this is longer than I remembered. <laughs> I did not remember it taking this long. Oh my gosh, this this house is far away. Um, but yeah, there we go. I eventually got there. And so you can see there's like the balcony of the floor and then I just went and landed on it. And then if you go inside the house, you should see the chest over there. The lighting <laughs> it was so bright but yeah that chest gives you 250 diamonds and then after that i got lost again so reset your character that way you're following along with me and this last chest it's again a chest that involves a lot of flying you basically want to fly to the middle area where the fountain is and then if you go sort of like right-ish and then you keep on going forwards, you should eventually see yourself go past the dock area. There you go. So you basically just want to go exactly in the direction of the dock and keep on going in that direction. Do not change direction at all, otherwise you'll probably get lost and won't end up at the right spot. Make sure you just keep on going straight. You should see that sort of like big field area over on the right and then the bridge should be facing the same direction that you're going in. Just keep going in that direction. I think I like almost changed direction at one point because I was like, oh, it's just over on the left. Don't change direction, trust me. But yeah, that's going past that treehouse area that I showed before again. And if you keep on going forward, it's for quite a bit of time. I think it's like another half minute of just like flying straight. And then eventually you should see that sort of like pathway area on the left. And then I think we're almost here now. Oh no, no, keep on flying. <laughs> Still going. And then you go past that river. You should be able to see the edge of the map at this point and like a couple of the trees. You should be like on the very far sort of topish left, uh, topish right area of the map. And then once you're there, you want to go left a little bit. And then you should be able to see that cave. Yeah, right there on the right. I believe that is the cave. And then if you go inside, you should see there's like water inside of it. And then if you keep on going along there for a bit, I couldn't remember exactly where inside the cave the chest was. So I just kept on like checking. It's like sort of halfway through, but yeah, there you should see the last chest and that will give you a thousand diamonds. And so that is all 21 chest locations. I really hope this video was helpful to you all. But anyways, make sure you ring the bell to be notified. Do you like and subscribe and thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed. Oh, yeah.